Hey everyone, this is JT Movie, and I'm the animator of Omega, unfortunately. And today we're going to be looking at some basic background techniques you can use for your animations. So first what you want to do is have an animation finished. This is so you know exactly what you're getting into and what kind of background you're going to need and its angle, etc, etc. So how I generally do backgrounds is in uh, pretty much most simplest ways. Basically comes down to tracing. I use a program called SketchUp. Sometimes I design backgrounds or take other elements that others have made and create my own backgrounds. Uh, SketchUp is currently not free. I think it's on a trial version, uh, but there may be older versions you can download that can be free. And there's also SketchUp Viewer, which I believe is still free. And I go on 3D Warehouse, which is a website where 3D artists upload their stuff for free. Uh, usually they're for free. You're allowed to reuse them, um, but you should probably make sure before you download one of them. Uh, so for example, here's an office background you could use. And then you push your print screen button, then control V, and you paste it into your... So that's a pretty simple example of getting a background, but personally for me, I like a consistent quality. I don't want it to have like a fuzzy look uh, or someone else look, and I want complete control of my background. So what I do is I trace these backgrounds. So having our picture inside the animation, we're gonna convert it to a symbol, a movie clip. So we're gonna push F8. And then we're gonna rename this layer pick. Um, and then we're gonna create a couple layers here uh, for what the background's gonna be. For instance, this is a sort of a library I used for my animation. And this is just one angle of it. So we here we have our layers of what's gonna be. We have the floor, the background, the post, pretty much everything that's gonna be in this particular instance of the background. And then we trace. Uh, personally, like everything else, I just use lines. Uh, allows me to have complete control over it. And to be able to see what you're tracing, uh, I create one line randomly. Uh, I convert that to a group, which is control G. And I go into the group, double clicking it. And now you can see your background, uh, essentially. So uh, the picture is a lot brighter and allows it to be easier to trace. And that's it, you do it for every single one. Uh, here it is when it looks finished. It looks like a mess, but that's the gist of it uh, Each one of them is in a group layer So now what you're gonna do is color them um, You can use your background as a guide or use your own colors personally. I do kind of a little bit of both Okay, now everything's colored and it looks like that uh, And then I like to play around with the lines a little bit uh, as you can see if you use sort of thick lines and just a basic black it can look kind of cartoony, uh, but I mean, if that's the look you're going for, sure, fine. But personally, I go for a more um, professional kind of, I don't know, TV show look. Um, you just can play with the alpha a little bit, play with the line size, um, but never delete the lines. I, I always recommend, you can change the alpha to zero so it looks like they're deleted, but never delete them because you're gonna need them for the lighting. Okay, once that's done, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with 35 here, alpha. My lines are as pretty much as small as they can be. And yeah, so it gives kind of a professional look, I think. Um, ultimately, when you put it together, I think this looks the best. Once that's done, uh, unlock every single layer of your background. Um, select all, control all, and then control C, selecting everything. Create a new layer, I'm gonna call it lighting, and then I'm gonna control V, or better, paste in place. And now this is gonna be your lighting. This is gonna be using the same technique I've used in my lighting tutorials, uh, which is essentially you're going to delete the fill color, then change all the lines to blue, and then change your color of lines back to black, and then you're gonna go through it. You're gonna trace it. Personally, I use black for my lighting, and then you can change it later, of course, and you go through it. Once you're done, it looks something like this. I'm gonna change the alpha to 40, which is my normal setting. And then once again, you're gonna select all the frames again with the exception of your lighting layer. You're gonna paste it on top again, and now you're gonna erase the lines. 
and then you're going to change the fill color to, well, whatever you want. Um, I'm going to use a linear look. Uh, this is kind of going to give it like a lighting look, like a like it's glowing in the background, like a sunroof or something like that. And there, and then there's your background. Uh, play around with these. Uh, there's a lot of techniques I'm still learning. Uh, this is, I mean, I learned all this stuff essentially just by playing around with it, practicing. This is just one example of how the lighting can go um, or how the lines can go. This this whole background can look completely different if you play around with it. So now once that's done, you have your background. Um, looks pretty good here, but I also like to add a blur to it. Um, I don't know why that just makes everything more streamlined. It just personally for me it looks uh, better and uh, the more you're zoomed in to your background I think the more blurry she do so on this I'm gonna use one and so yeah there you have it um, that's essentially backgrounds how I do them uh, there's other methods you can use uh, but yeah you want to play around with the lighting you want to play around with the lines uh, and find what's best for you um, yeah personally tracing uh, 3d models helps because you can get any angle you need because uh, backgrounds are honestly one of the hardest things to do when it comes to animating. Well, I hope that helped. Uh, if you have any comments or questions or suggestions for other tutorials, uh, leave them below. And uh, if you're interested in animation, action, sci-fi, or anything, I have an animation called Omega. Check it out. And if you're interested in supporting it, check out my Patreon at jtmovie.patreon.com. So, thanks for watching. Hope it helped. See ya.